All right, and load that in. All right, let's go for it. All right, it's fired. It's coming over. There it goes. It broke into a bunch of nuclear warheads. I did not want that to happen. Oh boy, that could have gone really bad. Oh, look at all those. <laughs> look at all the clouds. Oh, I, I just don't think the damage has registered yet. Oh, that was not good. That's not what I really wanted to happen. Oh, but nothing's dead. Suppose that's pretty important. It, and now it has a weird sound here after. Shit! <laughs> oh, 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 God, that was good. Way to trick me, game. Make me think it wasn't working. Oh, my ground's irradiated. Oh, no. <laughs> I, there's no such thing as Villager Island anymore. Oh, that was not a good idea. Nuclear Cluster Smithel. New <laughs> this is not my day. Oh. Well, Villager Island's dead. I've irradiated the grounds. I've killed all the tree and wildlife. I can't even really repair this because doing so would break my already existing shit. Oh, man. I mean, literally, look how far this radiation traveled. There is... I'm pretty sure there's... Yeah, there's some... Some of this radiation is literally sitting... I think this is one of the farthest away blocks. Look at that. That that That's how far it was from the explosion site. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Smikism, and welcome to the next episode in our Volt series. We are on episode 18 now, if I am correct, and we are making great progress. We've done a ton of different things. In last episode, we touched up on the bunker. I showed you this massive thing I built, and we also started ICBM. And uh, I expanded on that a bit, built some new stuff, and now I can just show you guys this beautiful creation. It is a missile array that I created just to kind of uh, work with the missiles a bit more. So in this episode, we're going to go over uh, the different kind of missiles you got. Last time we only really, you know, touched up on these green ones, but there's uh, Tier 2, Tier 3, and even what is basically a Tier 4 missile is, I believe, what they call them. And they're really, really dangerous, but really, really cool. Ugh. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to be going over these. So we're actually going to start with tier 2. Since we did most of the tier 1's 1, tier 1's 1, tier 1, it doesn't matter. Uh, we did all the crappiest ones last episode, and I want to show you guys the cooler ones, because as they increase in tier, they become a bit uh, more interesting. So starting with these red ones, which are in fact the tier 2 missiles, I figure we start with the first one there, and that's the fragmentation missile. Um, actually, first I should show you guys uh, the kind of setup I have. So I'm on creative mode right now. Um, for who knows what reason, I'm, I'm just <laughs> I just happen to be on creative mode. Uh, this this is the island that we end up blowing up a lot of the time, and I think we'll keep doing that. And uh, as you can see, I just have three kind of I, I meant to make them like silos. So you have this middle silo which holds our best missiles. The one on the right, which is a tier two, holds a semi good missile. And then you have tier one on the far left, which is you know just another silo for crappy crappy missiles. Uh, and we have these solar generators that are each dedicated t uh, to each individual um, launcher group. So that's pretty cool. I have a bunch of wiring underneath, but you guys don't really care about that. And that's how I got it all to work. Um, so as I was saying, we're going to start... I keep hearing the squeak. I can only think that there's monsters spawning underneath there because it is hollow. Ugh. <laughs> sorry guys, I'm a bit sick right now, so my voice might sound weird. And my mouth is doing crazy stuff. So sorry if uh, you guys get weird noises or whatever. Anyway, uh, fragmentation missile. Uh, we'll place it in that. If I can just... There we go. Uh, it looks a bit weird. If I can... Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, we're going to edit this a bit. We're just going to go like this. Take away those. And do that. There you go. So now you guys can see the missile. It looks a bit weird. We have these kind of cross missile bits. Kind of sideways. I doubt it's supposed to be like that. Almost, I, in fact, I can almost guarantee it's not supposed to look like that. Just small little clipping error in the dude's code. Minecraft is uh, throwing creepy noises at us, which confirms my thought of there is a big empty space in there that is dark and spawning monsters. Uh, but what I wanted to actually come over here and do is get a nice little read up on this radar gun. I'm actually going to get off creative mode um, in just a second. Stop using that. Um, and just so you guys can get an idea of what this is going to become, I'm going to build a kind of lookout tower over there so I can bomb shit from far away. It'll just be a really, uh, really high tower I can... 
uh, beam things with my laser gun or whatever with. So we'll do that in a bit. Um, and just for, for I don't know, anybody that plays legit sake, uh, this is how you actually build it. It's a fragmentation explosive and a missile module. And you build uh, the fragmentation with a bunch of shrapnel ones and an incendiary one. Um, as you can see, this shit just gets crazy complicated with all the different explosives you use. And really, they really only are used for crafting the missiles or uh, the standalone explosive. Anyway, we're going to load this in. Uh, it has transferred our information. And you know what? We really don't have a tower here, do we? Um, we have no way to see what's going on. So we're going to do something quite makeshift. Uh, well, firstly, I'm going to get off creative mode because that's pretty lame. Uh, we're just going to go be a bit um, makeshift, as I was saying, and build a sand kind of tower bridge to view it from. There we go, and then we can stand down here and possibly see it explode. Cool stuff. All right, so we're going to see how, if everything's set up, it's ready to launch. Uh, one thing you guys will notice is that the inaccuracy is far, far less um, than the Tier 1. With the Tier 2, it's only 7 blocks, with which the Tier 1, it was uh, 15. So I can only guess the one with the Tier 3 is possibly even half of this. Um, I don't know, three and a half, three blocks? Uh, about that, and I'm guessing it's full in accuracy because I do have a, um, I do do, <laughs> I do have a tier two uh, support frame in the back that's helping aim it. Uh, whatever, we're gonna fire the missile. Um, so it's flying through the air over there. Let's try to get a good lock on it. There it goes. Okay, well it made a very large noise. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spawn animals there for us to bomb. Uh, it made a very large explosion. When you think of all the Tier 1 missiles that we launched last episode and how much damage that single Tier 2 did, um, you can already see the advantage to using these certain missiles over other ones. Uh, but what we are going to do is... I don't know why I went back on... Oh, I went on creative mode to fly. This, this is the kind of mode we want because I'm pretty sure it gives us creative powers and lets us see our inventory. Uh, it gives us a massive inventory. Uh, but we want those eggs that you can spawn stuff with. Um, spawner... There we go. Spawner... Oh. Alright, well they're shaped like eggs but they don't call them eggs. Um, and since we are friendly toward our animals, we're going to blow up other things. Uh, what do we hate the most? We hate Endermen, but I have a feeling they won't die, so I'm not I'm not gonna screw with those guys. Let's blow up a bunch of cats. Yeah, I'm a terrible person. We're gonna blow up ocelots. Actually, no. Um, we're gonna blow up ocelots and and villagers. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I am I'm digging this. Okay. Um... Spawn them all over the place. Oh, these these are the ocelots. Okay, well, you guys can roam about on your desolate island. Uh, and then I'm going to make a few of you guys you can care for the cats or whatever. You guys are cat people. All right, we have Reject Island has been created. Oh, <laughs> just dropping the mouse. Onto my keypad, or mouse pad. All right, now if we can just throw this junk over there. And back up. Missile. Uh, not two E's, just one. So we did fragmentation, and now it's contagious missile. So I can only guess um, what this does. I have a feeling it um, spreads disease. Uh, chemical, okay. Um, yeah, it's definitely something biological or chemical or whatever. So here is the contagious missile. Once again, we have these effed up um, side wings. I think that might be a problem with all of them. Um... Yeah, I don't really know what's going on there. Let's see if we have enough. We do. <coughs> Sorry about that. I have to uh, clear my throat. Uh, but we we can just launch now. It's going to take off extremely fast. Awesome and whatnot. And here it goes. Oh, that makes a terrible noise. Okay. Um, well, it, it literally instantly wiped out every villager on this planet. What the hell? Oh, this is creepy. What just happened? Oh, I've I've done goofed it. <laughs> I've done goofed it. Um, it wiped out all the villagers. I came over and they... Oh, there's the sun. <laughs> I see light. There we go. So, um... But I came over and it wiped out all the villagers and all the cats. Did we get... Does it still there? No, it's gone. Alright. 
that is a very bad missile. Um, <laughs> uh, now we know what that does. It um, it makes you blind and uh, kills a lot of things. In fact, it it killed all of our guys. We're gonna go um, put more on the island. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna place villagers this time because they 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 die faster. I really didn't care for the ocelots. <laughs> 